everyone, this is Karen. Hey everybody, this is Shane. Today we're looking at part one of Pokemon. Celebrating 25 years of gaming fun. And the vocabulary words are rush. Rush. The kids rushed into the living room to open their presents. Shiny. Shiny. A truck drove by and splashed mud all over Dave's shiny new car. Oh no! A creature. Creature. In the movie, a young boy becomes the king of an island filled with all sorts of creatures. Ooh. Compete. Compete. Vicky and her sister are competing for the same job. Uh oh. Global. Global. Climate change is a global crisis, so we're talking about Pokemon. Yes, this was like became really, really popular in the 1990s. That's right. I would see kids playing and collecting and trading these cards, but I never really knew anything about Pokemon until Pokemon Go. And that was a really, really popular game. I think and that's when it became a worldwide. Craze, but I think it was always popular though. Back in the 1990s, it was really crazy, and then now it's making a good comeback, yeah. right? So, so I think it's definitely got crazier. That's right. In the more recent future or recent past, well, now <laughs> <laughs> compared right. to the 90s. Mm -hmm. But I used to just collect baseball cards when I was a kid and trade those with my friends. And did you know that these cards, Pokemon cards, yeah. are actually worth a lot of money if you collect them, especially the rare ones? Yeah, just like baseball cards, probably Pokemon cards are even more valuable. Yeah, they can worth up to like six figure at auctions. It's crazy. It's like the second most uh, successful game series mm -hmm. in the whole world, right? I know. So, but I do have to say, I think Pikachu is really cute. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of cute characters or cute monsters. Creatures. <laughs> Pokemons. Uh, let's learn more about Pokemon. All right, let's go. Pokemon, celebrating 25 years of gaming fun. For those of us who grew up in the late 1990s, nothing compared to the feeling of rushing home with a fresh pack of Pokemon cards. Would you get one of the cards you needed to complete your 151 card collection? Or, better yet, would you get a rare shiny card? Whatever creature you found, you hoped it would be strong enough to succeed in battle against your friends. Hello and welcome to Live Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Kim. This is Victini. And this is Pikachu. So we must be talking about Pokemon! Yay! Now, why are we talking about Pokemon? Well, it's actually been 25 years since Pokemon became a part of the cultural landscape that we have today, and we're celebrating 25 years of gaming fun with Pokemon. 25 years of Pokemon. Wow, that is crazy. He doesn't look over three years old. He looks great he's, for he's, his age. He still looks good. So do you, Pikachu. You look fantastic. But yes, it has actually been. 25 years, so we're celebrating, we're having a little party for our Pokemon friends, because why not? They're 25 years old. Oh, poor Pikachu. Yeah, we'll get him a little He's cake. He's a little tired, so okay. we'll get into our article then. Okay, perhaps. we'll get him a cake letter later, <laughs> so let's read the article now. Well, for those of us who grew up in the late 1990s, nothing compared to the feeling of rushing home with a fresh pack of Pokemon cards. Ooh, yes, absolutely. When you're a kid and you have your favorite toy, whether it's a new game or a toy or a pack of cards, you would probably rush home or rush over to your friend's house or something like that to open them up to play with your new toy. When you rush, that means you're going really, really quickly. You're probably running or walking really quickly. You're in a hurry, you're excited. Maybe there's someone you gotta get to because you're late. But the idea with rush is you're doing something or going somewhere in a hurry. For example, the kids rushed into the living room to open their presents. Of course, they're excited, so they're going to move quickly to get to their presents. All right, so yes, we like to rush home. I didn't open Pokemon cards. I had maybe hockey cards or Star Wars oh, cards. Baseball cards were also baseball very popular. Baseball cards, those yep. were always popular too. You're right, collecting things like that as a kid 
is great fun. So let's check out some Pokemon cards. Would you get one of the cards you needed to complete your 151 card collection? <gasps> Or better yet, would you get a rare shiny card? Oh, shiny Each card! Each pack was exciting, and you wouldn't know what's inside. There'd be about like four or five cards in there, and oh, you might get that really good one. It was so exciting, wasn't it? Yeah, if you're lucky, you got one of these shiny cards.、Mm. Shiny means something bright because it reflects light. So you can have something that goes bling bling. That sort of feeling is something bright because it's reflecting the light around it. For example, a truck drove by and splashed mud all over Dave's shiny new car. Yeah, when your car is new, it hasn't been taken out too often yet, so it's going to be very shiny and nice. But maybe you wouldn't be lucky enough to find one of those two shiny cards. But still, there are 150 other, 151 other great cards to find. That's right. And whatever creature you found, you hoped it would be strong enough to succeed in battle against your friends.、Ah. Mm. That's the whole point of collecting these cards. Was there was a game associated with it, so it wasn't just. Collecting the cards and taking、oh. a look at them, you actually could play the game. I see. You could match their talents and powers and skills against each other. I guess people use the Pokemon Go game now to、yes. do that.、Yeah. You can play it in a more real video game kind of way. But back before they had the app, they had the cards. But in both of those, you have these creatures, and you're fighting them. You're matching them. They're competing. Against each other, these little Pokemon creatures. What is a creature? Well, this noun basically means an animal, but probably kind of a strange or unusual animal. You wouldn't call your pet dog or cat or a, a fish an a, a creature. You might call something in the zoo a creature, something you see on the the Nature Channel or something like that. If you're in the jungle, you might hear the noises of all these. Creatures walking around at night. So we're talking about kind of unusual, strange, or interesting animals. For example, in the movie, a young boy becomes the king of an island filled with all sorts of creatures. Maybe snakes and bears and monkeys and spiders. All of those we would definitely call a creature. All right. Well, our creatures are going to take a break, so we're going to come back in a moment and read the rest of our article. Are you okay there, Victini? I think. Sorry, I think Pikachu woke up. He's alright. He's okay. He's Good. Okay. Maybe we should get him some Pika coffee. All right. We'll see you soon. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。你知道吗？宝可梦要欢庆二十五周年喽！我记得以前的卡通宝可梦都是叫做神奇宝贝。那不晓得大家对于宝可梦有什么样的回忆呢？你有没有曾经带着一包全新的宝可梦卡片冲回家呢？你有没有曾经很期待能够吸得到这种很稀有的闪卡呢？还是你曾经很希望你自己找到的那个生物，它的力量可以大到让你在对战的时候获胜呢？好，我们今天来看三个单字 ：rush。Rush 就是那种猛冲啊、快速行进，或者是仓促做某事的那种意思。那么 shiny shiny 是形容闪闪发亮的、有光泽的。我们补充一个意思相近的字是 sparkly。S P A R K L Y, sparkly 这个形容词可以表达是闪闪发光的、耀眼的。再来看 creature, creature 它表示生物、动物。好，接华课文中。Pokemon celebrating 25 years of gaming fun. 25 years later, people are still collecting and competing with Pokemon cards. Rare cards can even fetch up to six figures at auctions. The video games that the cards are based on are still going strong too, with new games coming out nearly every two years. And we are back, and we're still talking about Pokemon. It's the 25-year anniversary of these little characters, and of course, just before we talked about the cards,、mm -hmm. and we mentioned the,、uh, the 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 app too,、Pokemon、the、Go. Pokemon Go app. But it seems, even though there are apps and video games and all sorts of other stuff, as the article says. Twenty-five years later, people are still collecting and competing with Pokemon cards. Yeah, that tells you a lot about how long it can last. You know, kids、Absolutely. that were people that were kids in the '90s、mm -hmm. and kids now, almost thirty years later,、mm -hmm. are still playing with Pokemon cards. They're still collecting them. They're still making them. People are still buying them. And even with all the video games and other stuff, 
people still love to compete with their cards. That's right, compete to try to win or be more successful than someone or something else. When you're playing sports, you are competing to try to win the game. Or you could also be competing with someone to get something. For example, Vicky and her sister are competing for the same job. They both want this job, so they're in competition, the noun, to try to get it.、Oh, okay, so it's not just in a game or something like that.、Yeah. You can compete in all sorts of different ways. Rare cards, the article tells us, can even fetch up to six figures at auctions. Wow! So、That's、these must、lot. be. Some of the older cards, or the more、yeah. valuable cards, maybe one of those shiny, the sparkly shiny cards, right? And when we say something can fetch, that means people will pay. That's the price that it can reach. It can go up to six figures, six numbers. So that would be hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's a lot of money for a playing card. Are we talking U.S. dollars or NT dollars? I think that's U.S. dollars if it's rare enough. Either way, that、yeah. is a lot of money for a little card. But that's what people think these things are worth. They're really valuable to the fans. And it says the video games that the cards are based on are still going strong too. With new games coming out nearly every two years. Yeah, we've got Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon White, Pokemon This, Pokemon That. It just、wow. keeps going and going and going. That is amazing. But people love them. They're really、mm -hmm. fun to play to、mm -hmm. to collect all the little creatures. It's, right. It's a fun game. Yeah. And I guess after 25 years, they still have some of the original fans who are now grown up, and of course, there are kids now. Who are into it just like maybe their parents were、yes. 25、so、years ago. Yes. So everyone can play together. It's a family game, even. Absolutely. Okay, we'll take a break and then we'll come back to learn more about how it all started. 无论是二十五年前还是二十五年后，人们都依然还是在收集宝可梦卡片，用它们来竞赛。那么，稀有卡在拍卖会上的售价甚至可以高达六位数。哎，好，文中用到这个 fetch up to six figures， 就是表达售价可以高达六位数。Fetch 在这边当及物用来表达说卖得售得某个价格，然后 up to 就是高达嘛， six figures 就是六位数字。好，我们再来看单字 compete， compete， 它是动词用来表达竞争，跟什么来争夺。那么课文接着写到说，这些卡片所根据的电玩也依然兴盛不衰，差不多每两年就会发行新款游戏。那这边用到三个重点，第一个是 base。Base 当动词，它有这种根据啊，以什么为基础的意思。当我们用 be based on something， 就可以表达以什么为基础，根据什么而来。例如 ，The movie is based on a true story， 就是说这部电影它是根据真实故事而来，真根据这个真实故事改编而来的。第二个重点是 be going strong。用进行式来表达，说是仍然活跃、状况良好，它的声势不衰。举例来说 ，The company was founded nearly 200 years ago. It is still going strong. 那间公司是将近两百年前创立的，至今仍兴盛不衰。第三个重点，句型 with 加受词加受词补语是用来表达附带状况或是原因。那这个受词补语呢，我们可以用介系词片语、形容词或是现在分词或是过去分词。如果你要用分词当受词补语的话，那么 v i n g 就是表达主动或正在进行 ，p p 就是表达被动或完成的动作。举例来说 ，With her bag packed, she was ready to leave. 她的包包打包好了，准备要离开了。那由于背包是被打包的嘛，这个受词跟受词补语关系是被动，所以我们用过去分词 packed 来当补语。解华课文中 ，Pokemon celebrating 25 years of gaming fun. Pokemon creator Satoshi Tajiri wasn't trying to create a global sensation when he came up with the idea for the game back in 1990. He simply thought that the idea of being able to trade strange creatures in a video game seemed interesting. Pokémon's rules were so complex, however, that the game took six years to complete and almost made Tajiri's company go broke. Fortunately, the work paid off. The Pokémon series is now the second most popular game series in the world, with over 360 million game copies and 30 billion cards sold so far.
right, so 25 years of Pokemon. That's what we're celebrating today. We already know that the game's popular, the cards are still popular, and very valuable in some cases. But how did it all start? Where did it all start? And who started this stuff? These are all good questions, yeah. and we're going to find out in the next part of our article. As we see, Pokemon creator Satoshi Tajiri wasn't trying to create a global sensation when he came up with the idea for the game back in 1990. Hmm, interesting. It's funny, I don't think I've ever really heard that guy's name. No, me either. He's, he's not as famous some, as some other people that you might have heard of who've created these global sensations. Yeah, if something is a sensation, it's something that is amazing and incredible and people go, wow, and it could be something that kind of takes over the world. It seems like all of a sudden everyone's doing it or talking about it or playing it or something like that. And when we talk about all over the world, the adjective global is a perfect word because global just means all around the world, affecting all the areas of the world, all the countries of the world. We can talk about global warming, that affects every part of the world. We can talk about the global pandemic that we're hopefully coming to the end of. COVID-19 affected all the countries and all the people all around the world. So using the adjective global would be the right one to choose. For example, here's another one. Climate change is a global crisis. It affects all the countries, all the people, and all the areas right around the world. That's right. And the creator, he simply mm. thought that the idea of being able to trade strange creatures in a video game seemed interesting. Okay. Yeah. Pokemon's rules were so complex, however, that the game took six years to complete and almost made Tajiri's company go broke. Ooh, wow. That's he, a long time, six years that to is a, a long game. That is a long time. He was a man with a vision. He knew what he wanted and he wasn't going to quit. He wasn't going to let it out to the public until it was perfect. Six years of hard work. And, and it says, fortunately though, the work paid off. If something pays off, it works in the end. Probably you put in a lot of work, there was a chance it would fail and no one would like it, but if it pays off, success. You did what you wanted to do and it worked well. The Pokemon series is now the second most popular game series in the world with over 360 million game copies and 30 billion cards <laughs> sold so far. That is incredible. Those numbers are amazing. They That's are a the lot. second most popular. So I guess Mario, right? The Mario probably world. Probably something from Nintendo. Yeah. That's probably the most popular game series in the world. 360 million game copies. That's basically a little bit more than one for every person in America. Yes. And 30 billion cards. What that That's would the be. world's population several times. That's yeah. like four or five cards for every person in the world. That's incredible. It's, wow. A truly a global sensation and a big success for Absolute. him. Absolutely. Huh? And I actually feel left out. I don't have any games or cards. I should, I think I should, to him, I should go out and buy a pack and then I'd be sort of at the world average. At least I'd have five or six cards. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> time to wrap it up for today. But don't worry, Victini, Pikachu, and we will be back tomorrow because we still have a lot more celebrating to do for 25 years of Pokemon. Yay! We'll see you soon. Until bye bye. then, bye. <laughs> 宝可梦的创造者在这个一九九零年想出这款游戏点子，他当时呢并没有试图要让宝可梦成为这种风靡全球的游戏，他只是觉得可以在电玩里面交换奇怪的生物好像很有趣哎。不过宝可梦的规则最后变得非常复杂，以至于这款游戏花了六年才完成，差点就让他的公司破产了。幸好这个努力是有回报的。好，单字 global。Global， 它是形容全球的、全世界的，像 global warming 就可以表达全球暖化。那么 global pandemic 可以用来表达这种全球大流行、全球全球性的这种传染病。好，那文中用到 sensation 这个字是什么意思呢？它是用来表达引起轰动的人啊、事件或是情况。那我们最后来看两个重点。第一个是 so 什么什么 that 子句是用来表达如此怎么样以至于怎么样 
非常怎么样，结果怎么样。那么 so 的后面可以接形容词或副词，而 that 子句是表达结果。例如 ，The patient was so weak that she could barely stand up. 那位病人身体非常虚弱，以至于没几乎没有办法站立了。好，第二个重点是 make 加受词加上原形动词是表达使得让什么什么来做某事。那么 make 在这边表达使得或是让，它不带有强迫语义哦。那记得受词后面是要接原形动词，例如 listening to music makes me feel relaxed。听音乐让我感到放松。好，以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Pokemon celebrating 25 years of gaming fun. For those of us who grew up in the late 1990s, nothing compared to the feeling of rushing home with a fresh pack of Pokemon cards. Would you get one of the cards you needed to complete your 151 card collection, or better yet, would you get a rare shiny card? Whatever creature you found, you hoped it would be strong enough to succeed in battle against your friends. Twenty-five years later, people are still collecting and competing with Pokémon cards. Rare cards can even fetch up to six figures at auctions. The video games that the cards are based on are still going strong too, with new games coming out nearly every two years. Pokémon creator Satoshi Tajiri wasn't trying to create a global sensation when he came up with the idea for the game back in 1990. He simply thought that the idea of being able to trade strange creatures in a video game seemed interesting. Pokémon's rules were so complex, however, that the game took six years to complete and almost made Tajiri's company go broke. Fortunately, the work paid off. The Pokémon series is now the second most popular game series in the world, with over 360 million game copies and 30 billion cards sold so far. If you come to Jinshan Old Street, don't miss out on some great souvenirs. One of the best local specialties is the malao at Ayu Foods. In ancient times, malao was only eaten on special occasions. People used it as a bridal gift, symbolizing "till death do us part." The process for making this traditional treat is quite complicated. Its main ingredients are taro powder, glutinous rice flour. And maltos. Ayu, the owner, learned how to make malao from her mother as a child. She later opened her own shop and continually worked on perfecting her craft. Now her store has over ten different flavors for people to choose from. Ayu's fresh-made, delicious malao has become a synonym for Jinshan Old Street. See you next time.